Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And tonight we are back with another story. A very different one tonight, but I decided it's a Saturday night for me. It's usually the craziest time of the week for many people and I'm just sitting at home in my room reading to you guys, so this is my way of turning up on a Saturday night. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Tonight I'm reading out of a relatively new short story collection by Raphael Bob Waxberg. It's called Someone Who Will Love You In All Your Damage Glory. I'm really intrigued by the name of this collection. The author is the creator of Bojack Horseman on Netflix, if you guys know that. Out of this collection, I've chosen the short story Rufus, in which we are a dog. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Rufus. Rufus is a noise that has many meanings. Sometimes when man monster makes noise like Rufus, what it means is come here. Sometimes Rufus means I'm currently petting your head. Sometimes Rufus means I'm happy to see you. And sometimes it means I'm very upset. I've discerned many meanings of noise Rufus. I am very smart. Occasionally, Man Monster is making noises with other Man Monster, and in the middle of many annoying nonsense noises, Man Monster will make noise Rufus. And I will look at Man Monster like, why did you make noise Rufus? And Man Monster will see me looking and will laugh. I don't know why this delights Man Monster so, but I'm happy to delight. Man Monster makes many noises and part of my job as companion to Man Monster is to decipher noises and discern meanings. At first I did not care to discern meanings of Man Monster noises, because why should I bother? I am creature with rich interior life. I should waste time trying to discern meanings of grunts and whines from Man Monster? But now I see that Man Monster is very unable to discern meanings of my noises. So if we are to understand each other at all, I am the one who must discern meanings. And since we live in the same house, it is better for everyone if someone understands someone. So fine, we are companions and I discern meanings. Here is example. When man monster is upset, man monster makes noise like bad dog. This is worst noise man monster can make. Bad dog. It's for when universe conspires to make life miserable and one is without hope. Many times man monster is very frustrated at situation and makes bad dog at me. Like is my fault universe is unfair. This is very frightening for me to see man monster agitated so when I'm so small. But I know man monster is foolish beast and does not know is not my fault for bad dog. Sometimes is my fault. Sometimes when man monster is away, I discover little soft to play with and things get out of hand and somehow situation occurs where little soft is destroyed. This I know will not make man monster pleased. So when man monster returns to house, I run into other rooms so that man monster will not know it was I who destroyed little soft. I am in other room minding my business when man monster walks in front room, makes noise like, oh no. I walk in very casual, like, what is reason for oh no? I was in other room, no knowledge why should be oh no. I feel small bad for deceiving man monster, but no, it is for man monster's own good. Already man monster is upset because of destroyed little soft. If man monster knew little soft was destroyed by me, good friend to man monster, that would be a very bad situation. Still, Man Monster is very upset, makes noise like bad dog, makes noise like why you do. I feel bad that in this situation maybe it really is I who is reason for Man Monster's displeasure. Maybe this time I am bad dog. This makes me very very regretful about situation with regards to Little Soft, because in moment I was not thinking about Man Monster, but as soon as Little Soft was destroyed, I knew Man Monster would not like. But then I think about how I fooled Man Monster. Man Monster does not know I am reason for destroyed Little Soft and this is very good. Man Monster does not know this time I am reason for bad dog. Man Monster thinks I am good dog and thinking I am good dog makes Man Monster happy so it is good that I make him think this. 
maybe for making him think that I am good dog after all? This is question I often ponder. Is better to be truthful or is better to keep up appearance so that others have good thoughts of you, know they can depend? These questions too big for a little creature like me. Maybe no correct answers? Man Monster and I go on morning and evening constitutionals. This is good. See neighborhoods, smell many smells, observe other creatures, make waste. This is important. When younger, I would make waste in house, but truth is, this is not so pleasant, because then waste sits there with you in house. It's better to make waste outside of house, and now I know it's better. Now I make waste during morning and evening constitutional with Man Monster. It's much better this way. This is sign of big smartness, that I can learn things. I am very proud of this ability. Man Monster is not so smart, does not learn. Man Monster makes waste in house in special room for making waste. Man Monster thinks if closes door, I do not know he makes waste, but I know. I am very smart. Sometimes I feel like if I do not make waste, I will explode, but I know always there will be time when I can go outside and make waste later. And always this is true. Man Monster does not know the way to go outside, but is okay. Man Monster does not know things he does not know. During constitutionals, I observe many other creatures, big and small. Some creatures have many smells, very interesting. Other creatures have fewer smells, not so interesting. Either way, observing is much pleasant experience for all creatures. I observe front of creature, then I observe behind of creature. If creature is small, like me, creature can observe my behind simultaneous to me observing creatures behind. Otherwise, we take turns. Sometimes when I'm observing, Man Monster pulls on constraint and makes noises like, okay, time to go. This is very unnecessary and irksome. Perhaps Man Monster thinks I'm done observing? If so, it's a very illogical notion because if I'm done observing, I leave and there is no reason for pulling on constraint. If there is more to observe, I will continue to observe, and so also here is no reason for pulling on constraint. But Man Monster does not understand this. Sometimes I feel like if I were to be Man Monster and Man Monster were to be Creature, I would be very more diligent in regards to trying to understand desires of Creature. But also there are some things Man Monster does that I am not so proficient at like closing doors, so maybe I would not be so good at being Man Monster after all? Perhaps it is better that I am Creature and Man Monster is Man Monster. One time, during nighttime constitutional, I observed far away Creature, very strange experience. This creature has no Man Monster, has no constraint. It is a large creature, brown, and it looks at me from across much area. I look at large brown creature with big wonder. Where is constraint for large brown creature? Where is man monster for large brown creature? Does large brown creature have companion? Does large brown creature... Does large... Does... <laughs> does large brown creature have house in which for sleeping? Who opens doors for large brown creature? Who puts food in dish? I wonder if large brown creature looks at me and thinks me foolish for being constrained by man monster. Maybe large brown creature thinks there is no need for man monster. Perhaps large brown creature thinks I'm very much not smart. This angers me, so I make noise at large brown creature. Large brown creature runs off, unconstrained, and man monster makes noise like, come on Rufus, let's go. Next day, food and dish taste different to me. Not bad, just different. One day, much later, during morning constitutional, I am observing creature. Small, like me, with white hair. Smells strong, been many places. And I notice this time that man monster does not pull unconstrained. Instead, man monster is making noises with other man monster attached to constraint of little white haired creature. This other man monster is tall and skinny and smells of much body movement. Both man monsters laugh and make many jovial noises. I look up at man monster like, 
okay, I am done observing this creature now and ready to observe other situations. But Man Monster does not pay attention. Man Monster is laughing, making very exuberant noises and sounds at Tall Skinny. Later, Tall Skinny appears at house. This is very good because Tall Skinny has smells of little white-haired creature, which is very interesting to me. I jump at him and observe all smells. Tall Skinny makes noise like, Oh, hello, Jin. And Man Monster makes noise like, Rufus, Dao. Man Monster and Tall Skinny make noises at each other and leave house through door. I try to go with, but Man Monster closes door before I can get out. Man Monster often forgets that I cannot open doors, so if he closes door when I am inside, then I must stay inside. I try to remind Man Monster I'm still inside by making many loud noises, but Man Monster is distracted by Tall Skinny and does not come back to let me out of door. On this night, Man Monster does not return until very late. It's not a bad thing Man Monster returns to house so late, just observation. Next thing is, Tall Skinny appears at house many times. Sometimes Tall Skinny appears and then both Man Monsters leave. Sometimes Tall Skinny stays and both Man Monsters sit on Big Soft and look at noisy flat box and laugh. If there is one thing I have discovered about Man Monsters, it is that Man Monsters love to look at noisy flat box and laugh. Sometimes Tall Skinny comes over with little white-haired creature and Man Monster makes noise like double date, double date. Man Monsters look at noisy flat box while little white-haired creature and I run from front room to other room. This is very thoughtful of Man Monster to spend time with Tall Skinny so that I can run from room to room with other creature. It occurs to me, how nice. Man Monster has found a companion for his companion. I know it's not always easy for Man Monster to have so many in-house because sometimes Man Monster becomes very agitated at Tall Skinny and much shouting occurs. Other times they wrestle and nip at each other and I cannot discern if it's playful or if it's angry. On one night when Man Monster and Tall Skinny are looking at noisy flat box, a little white-haired creature goes into other room and jumps onto other room Big Soft. This is very inappropriate. I know this. I make noise at little white-haired creature to suggest, hey, maybe you should not be on that. Maybe man monsters will not like. I run to front room to alert man monster of situation. I make many noise to indicate there is creature on other room big soft. I know creatures should not be on other room big soft. Only front room big soft. But man monster is unconcerned. He makes noise like, quee Rufus. I look at Man Monster. I look at Tall Skinny. Both just sit on front room Big Soft and look at Noisy Flat Box. I go back into other room. Little white hair creature is burrowing into Big Soft. I think maybe is okay? Maybe this time creatures are allowed on Big Soft. I jump on Big Soft. Is nice. Is soft. Everywhere it smells of Man Monster. I lie down. Amazing feeling. Feeling like I'm surrounded always by embrace of man monster. Feels like a house inside of a house. I have very much joy. And I look over at little white haired creature also on Big Soft and I see disaster. Little white haired creature has made waste on top of Big Soft. This I know is bad news. Firstly, I am paralyzed with fear. What to do? Alert man monster or no? I am companion to man monster and I know I should alert of all situations inside of house, but this is news man monster will very not like. This is bad dog kind of news. It occurs to me, maybe if I don't alert, man monster will discover later, will not know who made waste on Big Soft. Maybe man monster will think he made waste on Big Soft and then forgot? But downside is, maybe he will think I made waste on Big Soft. This is worst possible scenario. Very much bad to imagine. I realize now, I must alert. I run into front room, make many loud noises. Man Monster makes noise at me like, Rufus, no. I run back into other room and then back into front room, making noises all the way as if to say, Come, look in this room. Man Monster makes noise like, Rufus, quiet. Tall Skinny makes noise like, quiet, Rufus. 
Consequently, I am very even more upset, because now tall skinny thinks he can make noise like Rufus at me. We are not companions. I do not know this other man monster. For review. Tall Skinny brings other creature into my house. Tall Skinny's companion creature makes waste on my man monster's big soft. Now I am trying to alert man monster because I am smart. And for this I am considered nuisance. I am considered bad dog. Is all very very upsetting. I am much alarmed if this is to be state of things. I keep making noise. Man Monster gets up off of front room Big Soft so that I will know he is serious. He makes noise like Rufus. I run back into other rooms so that Man Monster will follow me. But instead Man Monster closes door between rooms. This is bad. Man Monster knows I cannot open doors. At this point in situation I am very much exasperated that Man Monster does not understand me. I work very hard to discern meanings of man monster noises, but man monster makes no effort to discern meanings of my noises. Why should this be? Things would be very easier if I could make noise to man monster and man monster would think, oh, I understand. My companion means to tell me that other creature has made waste on my big soft. How wonderful that I have companion to tell me such things and how wonderful that I can understand. Instead, I make noise, and my monster thinks, I do not understand, I do not like noise, noise is bad. Surely there is no reason for companion is making noise. Surely he just makes noise because he does not know I do not like. I must scold him, that is best solution, is exhausting. Later I think on this and I feel bad. Is not man monster's fault he does not understand? Man monster cannot discern meaning. Only I can discern meaning. I am smart. Man monster is not so smart. Is not man monster's fault. But now I am trapped in other room with waste of other creature. This is a terrible situation. I make many noises. I scratch at door. Little white haired creature makes noises as well. I am much pleased that little white haired creature has now decided to contribute. But also I know all this is little white haired creature's fault in first place. So little white haired creature is not in clear yet as far as my book goes. Man monster opens door. Man monster is furious. He grabs constraint and pulls hard. He makes noise like Rufus what? Sometimes when he makes noise Rufus, I know is good, but this is not good Rufus. I am very scared of what man monster might do to me when so angry. But then man monster smells and I see that he is observing. He goes to Big Soft, he sees waste, makes noise like Joe. Tall Skinny walks in, observes waste on Big Soft, makes noise like Oh, who did is? Man monster makes noise like Nah, Rufus, I think Ladybug. Tall Skinny makes noise like Ladybug, Judo, Oopsie. Now Man Monster is very upset. Oopsie, Oopsie. Tall Skinny shrugs, relaxes accident. It's not big deal. Chill out. And Man Monster makes noise like, I'm not mad about Ladybug, but you could be a little more sorry. Are you serious right now? Do you want me to clean it up? Are you the big baby? I'm not being a baby to want you to clean up after your own dog. Tall Skinny makes very serious demeanor. He makes noise like, what is really about? After this event, Tall Skinny Man Monster does not come back to house so much. Little white haired creature does not come back to house so much. In theory, is not so bad. Is more time for me and Man Monster. More time for long constitutionals. More time for a man monster to throw a ball for me to retrieve. But man monster does not want to go on long constitutionals. Man monster does not want to throw a ball for me to retrieve. All man monster wants now is to sit on front room big soft and look at noisy flatbox. In past, noisy flatbox has made man monster much jovial. But now man monster is very saddened. At first, I think Man Monster is still upset about creature making waste on other room Big Soft, but upon continued reflection, this does not speak to true situation. 
Waste has been removed from Other Room Big Soft for a very long time now, and Man Monster still sleeps on Other Room Big Soft, so this cannot be concern. Sometimes even Man Monster allows me to sleep on Other Room Big Soft with Man Monster, which was never allowed before. Very clearly, Man Monster is no longer upset about soiled Big Soft. So, what is reason for Man Monster to be continued upset? Is mystery. Man Monster has female Man Monster friend who sometimes comes to house, brings food for Man Monster, takes me on constitutionals. Female Man Monster is friendly, has many good smells, but is not same as Man Monster. Sometimes Man Monster and female Man Monster sit for a very long time, make many hushed noises. Female Man Monster makes noise like, You should have a party for your birthday. Man Monster shakes head, makes noise like, I'm not in a mood. Female Man Monster scratches Man Monster's back, makes noise like, You will be, I promise. One night there is big gathering of Man Monsters. At first it's fun, everyone wants to pet. I jump up on Man Monsters and they laugh and dance with me. Many delicious foods are dropped on floor and I am able to eat them. But more and more Man Monsters begin to congregate, Soon noise becomes unbearable. There is no space to roam. Everywhere is foreign man monster legs. Strange man monsters I do not know pick me up and pull on me. I make noise like put me down, but strange man monster does not comprehend. I kick and scratch and strange man monster drops me. I look for main man monster, my man monster, but do not find. I think, oh, he is gone forever, and get very sad and scared. I look for female man monster, companion to man monster, but do not find. I even look for tall skinny man monster, but do not find. Is this my life now? Forever? In crowded house, surrounded by strange man monsters, I do not know. I become quite certain that this is my life now. Forever. Now, when I am thinking about this, terrible on top of terrible thing happens. I make waste in house. This is a very unlikely event to occur because I am not one to make waste in house. Everyone knows this about me, but this is overwhelming. So many man monsters. When it is happening, I truly do not know it. I look down and see waste and I think, who made this waste in house? Then I know, I made waste in house. One of Man Monster's Man Monster friends sees me and shouts many noises. Man Monster runs over. Oh no, 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 why? I am very relieved that Man Monster is not, as it turns out, gone forever. But also at the same time, I am very ashamed. Man Monster grabs constraint and pulls me to door. Man Monster opens doors and takes me outside like maybe I want to make waste again. I do not. Waste already made. This is very obvious. Man Monster goes back inside. Closes door. I scratch at door so Man Monster will remember that I cannot open door so that Man Monster will come back and open door for me. But door does not open. I look up at sky. I hear howling of distant creature. I think about little white-haired creature who made waste in house and then did not come back to house. I think about how after little white-haired creature made waste, tall skinny did not come back to house. I wonder where they went. Is this where now I must go? I know, if so, is very appropriate, is what I deserve. Already, Man Monster was very upset. Man Monster did not also need for greatest companion to make waste in house. This is betrayal at worst possible time. Now I truly know what it means to be a reason for bad dog. I think about large brown creature who had no Man Monster companion and no house. When I saw before from across much distance, I wondered how it was like to be large brown creature with no constraint. Now I feel bad to have wondered. Now I know, is not good, is not very happy to feel like this. Man Monster opens door and I am much relieved. He sits down on step next to me. He makes noise like, ay ye ye ye. I am very ashamed to have made waste in house. I know when I did this I was not a good companion, but also I do not want to be a creature who is not allowed back in house. 
I look at him and make face like, please do not condemn me from house. I can be a very good companion from now on. I will be always good to you from now on. I know Man Monster is not always smart about discerning meaning, but hopefully this time he will discern. Man Monster scratches my back and he makes noise like Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. And I know that noise Rufus can mean many things. Sometimes Rufus means I'm happy to see you. And sometimes it means I'm upset. And this time I discern that it means both things at once. Somehow this time when Man Monster makes noise like Rufus, 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 it is like all the other Rufuses combined together. It means all the things. It means, well, here we are. And it means, yep. And it means, why? And what do we do now? It means, good dog. And it means, bad dog. And it means, let me scratch your back for you. Man Monster makes noise like, Rufus, Rufus, Rufus. And he scratches my back and I love him. I love him with everything I am. I love him like he's a part of myself. That was a weird one. Took me a while to get into like the rhythm and the style of the writing, but that was kind of fun to read and I hope also fun to listen to. There is a lot to think about with this story, like obviously we're a dog, but I don't think it was just about us being a dog. Yeah. A very strange story. Now I will go bark somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for probably listening to this video. <laughs> y entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Y bye.